Sorry about that. I, uh, my worst fear is that I'll leave that on by accident for an entire recording and then I'll go back in editing and... Well, I'll just have to throw it away. <laughs> Alright, today we're playing Tastemaker. Alright, we're gonna start a fast food restaurant. I'm thinking... Potatoes. Okay, let's start here. This is good. This is good. If I learn anything from retail, it's you want like a, a nice shop front. Can't think of anything more interesting than filling both street facing walls with doors. Oh, what do you mean that face? I don't understand. Is that just your general mood or are you complaining about my place? I mean, I guess there's a bit of a draft, but it's got nothing to do with you. I'm gonna have a nice open plan as in like stuff just all over the place. You walk in and you can just get served anywhere you don't even have to queue well you do but like it'll be really confusing where you have to queue probably out into the street all right we're gonna serve nuggies <laughs> that's it just nuggies i wanted to serve potatoes i guess if i i mean fries that is potatoes sorry i am maybe irish but i don't go outside a lot so i'm very naive about how the world works you can get so many different foods from it fries potato mashed potato it's a magical magical fruit Ooh, music that might be nice this is a weird fast food giant oh fish tank i'm i'm getting sidetracked but i'm trying to create ambiance a rat trap nice <laughs> okay let's move that over by the door be very careful which door you choose to come in okay so i need a deep fat fryer i think are we just gonna cook like in the middle of the restaurant i guess we are okay cutting board for these magical potatoes i need to order plates jeez so much management involved. All right, I gotta order chicken. I didn't want to make my nuggies out of chicken. To use whatever I find in the rat trap. Just order loads of chickens. They're, they're three each. That's fine. 30 quid for chickens. Great. Will the chicken man just deliver it straight in here as well? There you go. Chicken man came. It's like I'm talking with Santa Claus or something. Oh, the chicken man from chicken land. We charge. Uh, it, the default was 20. How high can we go? Can I just keep going? 40. Okay. The Really good nuggies, and there's a lot of atmosphere here, folks. I need an employee. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> you're mine now. I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna put you in the deep fat fryer. An employee is complains that there is nothing to do. <laughs> I mean, would you really complain? You can just stand around, see what the nuggies taste like. Not for free, though. You still have to pay. I'm one of those bosses. Decor overlay. People love this, but they're not a big fan of the deep fat fryer being around their their tables. All right, you know what? Let's lower our prices. People aren't coming in. Oh yeah, you got nothing to do, do ya? Free nuggies, everyone. Special, special promotion. <laughs> <laughs> These people were literally walking by. How do they even know that I literally just lowered my price? <laughs> now they're queuing up across the street blocking traffic. There we go. Come on in, folks. Sit wherever you want or wherever you can. I know there's not much space. Good old Thomas over here is going to make nuggies for all of you. And best of all, they're free. Not enough fryers to keep up with demand. <laughs> Look, you couldn't really complain. Are you really going to sit around like, mm, when the nuggies are free? They're all looking away. <laughs> oh, you love the nuggies, but you don't want to see them getting made, huh? They don't even know what door to queue at. They're getting so confused. Right, speed it up, speed it up. Nuggies for all. My plan is to just hemorrhage money, but get good reviews. Wait, does he have to clean up too? Oh, I have no way to clean all of the nuggies. Okay, I am already after hemorrhaging money, and I only served about seven people. Let's raise the price slightly. <laughs> we'll go to ten. There's still half price nuggies, everyone. I just... Thomas here is stressed. I'm looking out for him more than anything. I'd rather just feed you for free. Dishwasher. Oh god, where'll I put it? Just off in the corner there. Just a nice gentle humming, like white noise for when you're eating your nuggies. Oh my god, the poor guy is literally doing everything. <laughs> like, I'm the owner slash manager here, and I'm doing nothing. It's all Thomas. You may, it may as well be his business, except he'd probably have a much nicer business. I'm in the negative. I have negative money right now. Okay, they're still queuing up for nuggies. Uh, Jesus, gang, they're not that uh, cheap, and like, you gotta wait for ages. Okay, we gotta put up the price more folks. Sorry, but uh, look, there's just too many of you. I can't serve you all. Well, Thomas can't serve you all. I'm not going to serve anyone. He's like sweeping the floor. He's cleaning the dishes. He's making the food. He's serving the food. Everything. I'm paying him $50 a month for this. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage. Yeah, sweep up the place too. What are my goals here? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm getting reviews. The menu could be improved. It's literally just a nuggy restaurant. The restaurant could use some extra toilets. 
extra toilets. But I have no toilets. What do you mean extra? What have you been using as a toilet? Oh my god, the fish tank. Oh my god, running a restaurant is so difficult. Order more chickens, more chickens and more plates. Should I try and get another employee or something? Is that a good idea? I didn't expect for my restaurant to be popular. I'm gonna raise my prices again. This guy just walked away. He's like, look, I'm here for cheap nuggies, nothing else. You think I'm here for Thomas's good table manners? Because I'm not. Oh, unfortunately, a lot of people have that same opinion. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. They're, they're just trying to figure out the queue system. I understand. Honestly, I must be losing hundreds of customers based on social anxiety alone. Like, you'd show up to the restaurant, you just wouldn't know what to do. Every time someone goes in, they shift all over the place. They don't know what to do. All right, good news, everyone. We're expanding. Now you can sit here behind the deep fat fryer. You got an extra seat. And there's... Oh, no, wait. Hold on. That might be... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, could you could you stand up? Could you just... Don't just smile at me like that. I know you're happy, but I'm not. Move. There... <laughs> I just took the chair from under him. Just literally whipped it out from under him. This is mine, said Thomas. Okay, so to get a medium star here is to serve 400 coins worth of fries and nuggets in a month. Well, I'm just going with the nuggies, I'm afraid. Have a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in your restaurant? I don't think that would they'd even fit. Like, even if they were packed in there like sardines standing up, I don't think they'd fit. I think I'm gonna hire another employee, though. Now, Thomas, meet your twin, Paul. I swear I thought he was just gonna be called Thomas, too. The restaurant could be called Thomas and Thomas. And then I just hope they'd never quit or I'd be in trouble. <laughs> like, I'd like to speak to Thomas, the owner. Oh, no, no, I'm Thomas. The owner's name is Kevin. <laughs> right, I got that order on repeat now, so I think they'll always order chicken when, when it's needed. I, I'm not sure, hopefully, because I'm sick of the micromanagement. Thomas must be thinking, but you're doing literally nothing else. This is your only thing. You just got to keep us stocked. Is my food almost ready? Yes, sir. Don't worry. We're just waiting on a delivery. <laughs> you might be sitting there a few hours. There we go. The chicken man came. Every Everyone clap. They're so confused with their pathing. They can't really figure out how to get to some people. Like, the, this guy just left because he just wasn't being fed. They're often complaining about lack of plates as well, by the way. And uh, I've only got seven. <laughs> I have seven plates for six seats. <laughs> just pray no one breaks any. New review. This is a bad restaurant. Elizabeth. More like Elizabeth. Liar. <laughs> Can I actually reply? That would be a good reply. I think people would clap for that. 260 worth of nuggets sold. Two 80? Oh my god, we are a well-oiled machine. And I mean that as in like we're super oily and greasy here. It, it's a serious hygiene issue. Welcome to Kevin's, where the only thing greasier than the food is the staff. Wait, how did you go down? What? <laughs> do I need to do it in one day? Do I need to expand? I like how instead of should I optimize this restaurant? No, I should expand so more people will fit inside. That's my solution. Buy land. Five a square? That's not bad at all. Oh, okay. I may have bought in a weird way. <laughs> I'm surprised they sold it to me like that. What use was the rest of the land to them? Okay, I don't know how to delete this wall, so I'm just going to build more doors going right on through. This area of the restaurant is just falling apart. I don't think I even have enough plates to take care of all these people. All right, I bought more plates, but I also think I might need another deep fat fryer. People love getting their, their food made in front of them, though. That's what you see in, like, uh, Korean barbecue and stuff. Or, you know, you get those little slabs where you cook your steak yourself. That kind of thing. People love it. I know this will have a lot more, like, burn victims. But I think people will still learn to love it. Kind of like Stockholm Syndrome. God, it's like being in school and there's just not enough space for everyone. They're all just crammed in there. The floor is so dirty, by the way. <laughs> Good thing we got this to stop the rats. And employees complaining about the high workload. That's probably Paul. Thomas is a saint. He would never do that. If anything, he's probably still like, there's not enough to do, sir. I want to work harder for you. Gotta make nuggies to make money, as the old saying goes. Yes, I got medium. Yes! Good job, everyone! Oh, it's in a month. That's why I was failing it earlier. Okay, the months go by quick. All right, time sure does fly when you get absolutely no breaks from work and you're here forever. Again, love that old saying. Ingredient shortage. Oh, no. Uh, didn't I have them reordering chicken, like, just constantly? Oh, I do. All right, you know what else we're gonna get? We're gonna get potatoes. We're gonna start expanding. Wait, what is this? What do you want now? You want a storage for the potatoes? Just put them up on the fish tank. Okay, ingredients. We just need potatoes. That's it. Okay, I can do that. I think we should grow our own. I'm gonna buy land. There we go. We have loads of land now. And no money. Why do I have a pizza sign when I don't even serve pizza? 
pizza. <laughs> Can I change that? I feel like it's misleading. I'm just sitting here waiting to sell enough nuggies to build this wall. Come on. We have to build a wall. Come on. There we go. We built a wall. Okay, we got another door going through there now into the bigger room, which will expose the real business. Gambling. <laughs> I'm making a little casino. Someone please use it. Come on. I need to make money. This will make me a lot of money, right? Surely. No one is using it and I'm not sure why. I think Thomas walked up to it and was debating. But then I think he realized that I don't pay him enough to spend it on gambling. Yes, they're using it. I, I, give me money. Come on. Money. Yes. Okay. Three. A spin. That's not bad. Uh, that only takes 100 uses to pay off one slot machine. And they used it twice. Okay. I must not forget about my bread and butter, though, which is potatoes. I need to get more potatoes in this business. I have nowhere to store the potatoes. I, You know what? Just block these doors with potato storage. I hope no passers-by just steal the potatoes from the shelf. You know, I'm starting to think this is all about quantity over quality. I like how I ordered all these potatoes and I didn't even add fries to the menu yet. But I feel like if I just added loads of storage for potatoes and chicken, had a few fryers back here, some sort of like a kitchen or something, it, it might be more efficient. But is it a pipe dream? Oh, oh, I figured out how to remove the wall. That's lovely. There we go, folks. I know it's been years of just serving nuggies, but I'd like to announce we have figured out what potatoes do. Look at this. I'm moving everything in back. It's like a proper restaurant. Oh, I was like, why are the customers coming back here? They must be used to like eating around the deep fat fryers. They're confused. But no, it's just the delivery man. The chicken man, sorry. I didn't mean to demean you. You deserve a title like chicken man. Look at this. We're almost starting from scratch here, but the rat trap stays. I've not seen a single rat in this restaurant and I'm putting it down to that. Poor old Thomas must be having like a heart attack here. <laughs> realizing that all these spaces are being added. <laughs> he's just been under so much stress. He's probably a teenager and he's going gray from the stress. Oh my god, there's a rat! Rat trap, do something! Do something! <laughs> oh no, no one's gonna like this, are they? They're gonna be all uptight about it. Just leave. Yeah, there we go. Rat trap worked. Jesus, this place looks awful. The, the decor I've gone for. Look, I'm going for quantity, not quality. Just look at the rats and you'll see that. An employee is complaining about high workload, but like, we're losing money and there's not enough people coming in. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't understand. Is it the filth? Is that it? Picky customers. It's not like you have to catch the rats. The feckin' rat trap is doing work over there. It's got like five of them. Maybe we should post like a Facebook post. Like we catch more rats than any other restaurant. I love the way they sweep. It's like work it for the customers. Yeah, there you go, Andy. He's fitting in perfectly. I'm slashing prices, folks. Slashing them. And I'll slash you if you don't come in. Come in. <laughs> Quick. Okay, this is great. We have 100% conversion rate from people who pass by and actually come into the store. Everyone comes in. Wait, where are you going? Come come in. What, do you, what, what do you want from me? No rats? Some people are just unrealistic. I like how my solution was to put doors so they can't see into the kitchen and there's like rat droppings everywhere. They're so desensitized that person literally walked over a rat <laughs> as it died. There we go. I finally have enough employees that they're cleaning up. I think my employees actually outnumber the <laughs> the customers at this point. But I need to get it clean so people will actually come in. Remember, quantity, not quality. The same goes for the employees. Just anyone can work here. Any customer can just raise their hand and I just go, you're hired. Okay, now that the restaurant is clean, I need to get rid of a few employees. Henry, hate ya, you're gone. Max, hate ya, you're gone. Sorry, I have friends called Henry and Max and uh, it just kind of brought out my anger. The hatred is real. This restaurant is all right, but I couldn't go to the toilet. Well, go see a doctor then. It's nothing to do with me. I'm minus 900 right now. <laughs> I've got so negative. I don't understand how my previous restaurant actually worked better. I was thinking like genuinely this would probably work. Just build loads of tables, have the slot machine, loads of chairs. People would come in. I'd have loads of staff. We'd have high turnover, but no, it didn't work at all. It failed miserably. The moral of the story is always go what you got, I guess. The decor is the main thing, and you know, the fact I have no toilets that I need to work on, but I don't have any money, so how can I do it? Oh, God, I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm somehow even more negative now. How? Okay, everyone, I'm sorry, but the price of food has to go up. I gotta figure this thing out. Andy, you're fired. I'm trying to cut costs. Sorry. If you want to complain, speak to Thomas. I feel like staff wages have somehow gone up, even though I've been firing people. <sighs> 
We've lost all our customer base because we've increased our prices back up. Okay, never have a sale. Note to self, never have a sale. All right, you know what? It's the bank's money now. I I'm making the food free before they shut us down. Everyone, come in. I will solve world hunger before I close my restaurant. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh my God, even with this, there's a queue outside. I keep hiring these people and it's just cruel. They're probably leaving other jobs to come work here. And this is just doomed to fail. <laughs> but once again, the staff are out numbering the customers and that's the important thing why are you not serving them i don't understand we've we've got everything we need to serve them but you're just not doing it oh it's because we have one single cutting board that that's the bottleneck that's what's stopping us i understand it doesn't really matter how many staff i have if there's one person at a time allowed to prepare the food whoa look at all those minuses oh i guess it was payday <laughs> all right uh thomas you mean a lot to me and i'd like to pass on this restaurant and all of it's dead to you. You've earned it, champ. <laughs> like ruffle his hair and then walk off out <laughs> over the horizon. Look at this. This is success. Oh, yeah, that's success. Red means good. All right, folks, we're going to end it there. Unfortunately, the torture continues for all of my employees and the economy in general. I'm expecting a collapse. Like, I must be supporting this entire town's workforce. But I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more games like this, do let me know. Subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you tomorrow. I appreciate you. Bye for now.